Hello guys, so in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Google Cloud VM with Ubuntu and VS Code running on it just using your iPad and this will basically give you a fully functional IDE with the environment uh, for development that you can use from pretty much any device which will have access to the internet um, and yeah, let's dive in. So I'm going to use my iPad to do all the setup, but bear in mind that this is basically um, just a configurational uh, tutorial. So you will be able to do it from your uh, laptop or even your phone. Yeah, let's crack on. Uh, so first thing first, you will need to uh, navigate to Google Console Cloud um, website uh, and uh, a quick note here. So I already have an account, um, but it's again, it's it's a free account, and um, if you are worried about costs or something like that, uh, it will cost you nothing for uh, one year uh, because Google provides um, a free tier account uh, for uh, all the new uh, people who register. Uh, if you have a Gmail account. Um, in this case, you will be able to simply log in into this Google uh, Console Cloud uh, platform and you will be able just to crack on really. So you will have a free year of usage on this uh, cloud platform. You can do whatever you want. If you, uh, you don't even need to provide any uh, payment details. So once you will reach your one year uh, tier uh, limit it will just stop working I guess I don't even know because I'm still using my one year um, but yeah so you sh you should not be very kind of concerned about your uh, money over here so uh, this will be your dashboard so once you log into your uh, console uh, cloud uh, platform this will be your first page you you will be seeing so what we need to do next is we need to click on this navigation menu and we will go to compute engine section and uh, under it we will click on vm instances so this is where uh, all the vms are allocated uh, and these are uh, all the vms you you currently maintain so um, these might be uh, VMs for your main domains for uh, your experiments uh, or you can even run some Windows VMs or whatever if you wish for some stuff you do but in our case we're going to use <coughs> uh, Ubuntu VM uh, for our VS Code experiments so all we need to do, we need to create an instance uh, and we need to give it a name. So we can say it's a instance with um, Ubuntu and VS uh, code uh, IDE. Let's call it that way. Okay, so in terms of machine configuration, all we need to do, we need to change type uh, to N1 standard two, which is double uh, CPU or dual core with eight gigs of RAM. Uh, and that will be enough for our VM. So we need to change operating system to Ubuntu. Uh, and in terms of version 1604, LTS is absolutely okay. But if you wish, you can change it to 18. And bear in mind, these are server Ubuntu, so they don't have any UI. So these will be just uh, terminal uh, uh, operating systems, basically. So you will only be able to control it via terminal uh, or Unix shell. So let's select that. We also need to allow HTTP and HTTPS, and we will create this instance. So. It will take a little while while it spins up the new VM. Uh, meanwhile, we need to also familiarize with one more thing, which is a library, which will help us to configure VS Code server on our uh, VM. So this thing is called coda.com uh, and we need its uh, library, which is called coda server. Uh, and as you can see, it's basically an instant pre-configured VS Code development environment, which will be running on our VM, basically. Uh, all the stuff we are doing right now here, uh, you can do through the lo loads of pain on your own, but this library basically simplifies the process a lot. 
So here, a little disclaimer. Um, the latest version is 3.1, uh, and I recently was experimenting with 3.1, and it seems to be not working perfectly on uh, cloud VMs at the moment, at least on Ubuntu. So I will do some experiments uh, further, and I will do another video if I will manage to get it working. But at this point um, in time, we're going to use um, previous version, which is not that old anyway, so it's uh, from 18th of January um, of this year, uh, and we're going to use um, uh, version 2.1698, uh, so we need Linux x86.64 archive, so if you right click and copy, that will take the full URL to this uh, tar archives um, into your clipboard, and from this point, we are not going to need anything from Coda server anymore, apart from the URL. So let's see how is our VM doing. Yeah, cool. So it does uh, work, seems to be working. So next step, we need to SSH to this uh, VM. So we're going to open SSH in a new window. On iPad, it's a new tab. So, and at this point, Google will um, SSH us to the VM, which, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, basically a Ubuntu server uh, instance. So we will have just a terminal here. And as you can see, we are in my Frank Arthur 0303 home directory um, user. Uh, so just to prove that, let's type pvd. Uh, so basically, as I mentioned, this is a fully functional uh, VM with uh, Ubuntu, so all the Linux commands will work here. So you can type whatever you want. You can basically use this for any other purposes if you wish. But in our case, so what we need, we need to download this um, archive. So as you remember, we copied the URL. So uh, we, we get uh, the URL and let's download that. So we did download the package so let's extract that uh, so if we type tar with a couple of params and then extract the package so that extraction will create a folder uh, over here the blue color so we need to navigate to this uh, code server folder and then in this folder we will have a couple of executable files uh, so as you can see this code server is what we need basically the rest is just documentation so on code server there is a documentation with what parameters you can use etc etc uh, we will do the simple setup right now but if you will be interested i can uh, do another video of uh, how to make it more secure with uh, setting up your own password maybe adding https to it etc etc so uh, there are loads of things you can improve on uh, on the cloud as well uh, because currently our uh, VM is running with um, dynamic IP address, for example. Uh, so you can uh, configure quite a lot of things to spin up the, your VM and automatically run Coda. And you will not need even to SSH to it to run it. You will only need to hit your static IP, which you can set up, and then just enter your password and, you know, continue working. Uh, but that's for another video. So if you will like this one, um, if we will get 50 likes on this video uh, i will record another one with how to improve from security and usability point of view this process um, so yeah the next thing we need to do is basically we need to run sudo and run this command code server and you can pass a couple of params uh, we can pass port so that we know on which port this um, app will be running and we also will go with unsecure way so we will disable authentication, which is fine because we are just making a test here, right? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we can set up all these things later on. Uh, so yeah, so it's now running on localhost 80. And because we are on VM, uh, which has its own IP address, the localhost uh, will uh, be exposed to our main IP address. So if we copy that and we go over here and as you remember i mentioned we don't have https right now set up so it will be on http ip address and port 80 right 
So if we enter that, it's loading, ta-da. So it's an absolutely functional ID over here. So this is VS Code. I hope you uh, know how it looks like on your normal desktop. So as you can see, it's absolutely uh, functional ID. You have all your plugins over here. So you can install whatever plugins you wish. You have Git support. Basically everything is functional. So just for example, let's open a folder. Yeah, let's open my home folder, whatever. So this will show you just an example of how your tree of files will look like. So obviously these are node files and like so yeah, as you can see, <clears throat> I can edit all these files. Obviously, they are like .node files, whatever. God knows who, what these files are. But basically, just for a simple example, um, you can uh, create a new file. Oops, oh, new tab, no. Uh, you can create a new file um, by just simply uh, putting something like that. So as you can see, it identifies the type. Uh, everything works fine, so it's JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. So you can start basically um, putting your code over here, you know, and um, yeah. So it's a completely functional uh, IDE. Um, so as I mentioned, there are loads of things to improve on uh, VM side and also the setup of the configuration of the coder server itself, uh, which we can run through in another video if this one will uh, get 50 likes or more, obviously. So we can run through things like make it more secure, automate the process of spinning up the VS code when you run the instance. And um, yeah, uh, obviously if you have any uh, questions or ideas of what we can cover in another video, just put them down below in the comments. And yeah, um, my internet connection is a little bit bad so you can see pros and cons to this approach isn't it <laughs> anyway thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you really enjoyed it uh, if you have any comments or questions put them down below in comment section uh, i will be more than happy to answer and help you with your setup cheers bye